All right, go for it. Hi, this is Rob Mount with Truck Mount Forums, and I'm here with Ivan Turner, who owns AeroDry. Yeah, AeroDry Disaster Restoration. Okay, and how long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been doing AeroDry since 1992. 1992? Yeah. He has a very, very successful company, and he uh, helps a lot of people on the internet, and we truly appreciate that. But I got one question for you, Ivan, that everybody asks me all the time on Truck Mount Forums. Okay. And they say, Rob, I want to do water damage, but how do I get water damage jobs? Right off the cuff, how would you say the number one best way for them to get started in the water damage business? Okay, they yeah, here's, I would, if I was going to make one recommendation, I would say before getting started in the water damage restoration market, I would suggest that individuals study the market, study the insurance industry, if you're going to market to the insurance industry, find out how they actually work, find out how they're connected with the restoration industry, get a better idea, a good handle on what your market is worth. In other words, the size of your market before you go out and start buying a bunch of equipment, you really should be looking at trying to make sales first. So that's the key to a restoration business, or any business for that matter, is that sales have to come first. And so, who should they market to? Well, first of all, if a newbie, a new person doing it, your, your it, customer base, insurance companies. Well, you always want to, you always want to work in particular. Well, you always want to work your customer base first. That's that's a given since you've already got those people established. But the second one, uh, or the first outside group, I would say to market to would be the insurance agent. The insurance agents, uh, about 85% of all loss protocol starts with the insurance agent. So uh, they're the ones that have the influence uh, as far as referring okay. a startup. But you know, the, the key is, which a mistake I see all the time is, I've even posted before on the boards, that if you were given $50,000 today, it just falls out of the sky, what would you do with it if you are going to start a, a restoration company? And almost always guys would talk about, well, I'm going to get $10,000 worth of air removers, $15,000 worth of dehumidifiers, a truck mount, blah, blah, blah. Really what they need to do is they need to take that $50,000 or that $5,000, whatever it happens to be, and put it towards marketing. And the marketing is all person to person. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need to be smart at marketing. You just have to be consistent. That's really the key. So. That's what I was going to ask you. So do you recommend for the ages cold calling, walking right in, on yeah. the phone, how? Well, I'd recommend just cold calling. That's the only way you're going to do it. Uh, and people do business with people, I've always yeah, said, that's right. when it comes to carpet cleaning, people do business with people. That's exactly so it. This is a belly-to-belly -belly, uh, marketing. It is? Yeah, it really is. Belly-to-belly. Okay. Get to the end of ideal place to start is with your own agent. If you've got an insurance agent insuring your truck mount, insuring, insuring your business or whatever, your home start or with them or her. Good point. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, super. I appreciate your time, Ivan. Okay, appreciate it. It's a pleasure meeting you okay. too, okay? Nice to meet you. All right, super.